global pandemic coronavirus. For that, we cannot conduct our normal classes. So, we have prepared some videos which will help in your study in this situation. So, today I prepared this video for the student of class 6. And today we are going to read about major languages. So, we know that Earth is the only planet where life exists. Why so? Due to, due to the presence of three things, is air, water and land. So we know that the sphere of air is called atmosphere, sphere of water is called hydrosphere and the sphere of land is called lithosphere. Actually, lithosphere is comprising of rock and soil. And it also provides us, not only us, but many organisms, their living space. Actually, where we are living, we are living on lithosphere. So, on this earth surface, or on this lithosphere, there are many forms of land. So if you, if you see your surroundings, it's plain everywhere. Why? Because we are living in a plain region. Now, if you go to Darjeeling, many of us have went also. You can see that there the landform is different. You can find hill there. Now, if you go to South India, many of us visited also in South India. There the landform is different. So like this way, you can see different kind of landform on the earth surface. Now the question is that, how this landform form? This, these landforms are not built by any man. That as man is building their house, so man is not building this landform. So landform have form, but how? So let me tell you. This landform are formed because of two forces. One is external or exogenic forces and number two is internal or endogenic forces. Now, what is external or exogenic forces? So, these forces generally works on the surface of earth and their main work is to make the earth surface flat and regular. Okay? And these external forces are rivers, glaciers, wind, sea and underground water. Now come to internal or endogenic forces. So these forces work in the interior of the earth surface. And they are, what they are making? They are making the earth surface irregular and uneven. Just the opposite of external forces. Now, these internal forces can be of two types. One is forces causing sudden movement. They are earthquake, volcanic eruption, landslide. And number two is forces causing slow movement. They are cold, fall and mountain building. So this is the cause how landforms were formed. Now let us see the what are the major landforms found on the earth surface. So these landforms is how they are forming and, and according to their shape, their formation, these landforms are categorized into four categories. That is mountains, plateaus, plates. And facts. Now let us discuss first about the mountain. So mountains are a natural elevation of the earth surface rising more or less abruptly from the surrounding level. And the average height of a mountain is about 4000 meters. Okay? So mountains are the highest landform found on the earth surface. 
So often these high mountains are found in a long chain which is called range. A chain of a mountain is called range. And the top or crest of a single mountain is called a peak. It is this one. This is a mountain. It is a mountain. The top portion of a mountain is called a peak. Okay. Now come to the types of mountain. So based on their origin, mountains can be of four types. Number one, fold mountain. So this type of mountain are formed due to the fold in the earth surface. Okay. Example is Himalayan mountain, Alps, Andes, etc. Next is block mountain. So this kind of mountain are formed due to some crack or fall in the earth surface. Due to this crack, what is happening? The surface of land or a portion of land either goes down or pushed up. That is upward land is called block mountain. Example is gorges and black forest. And the downward portion is called rift valley. Example is Rhine Valley, it is this gorges and black forest. Next come to volcanic mountain. So this type of mountain are formed due to volcanic eruption. So at the time of volcanic eruption, rock particles, ashes and gases are also coming out along with lava. And this and, and they accumulate in the mouth of the eruption. Year after year, they, this accumulation is going on. When they cools down, they form like a mountain, which is called volcanic mountain. They are also called mountain of accumulation. Example is Mount Fujiyama in Japan, Mount Itna in Italy. Next come to residual mountain. Actually, this mountain is also cold mountain, but here, their mountain building process has been stopped. So, what happened? Here, they have worn out and a rounded peak. So, they are called residual mountain. The advantages or usefulness of mountain. So, mountain help in the condensation of moisture and bring about rainfall. Number two is mountain are storehouse of fresh water as Many rivers have their sources in the glacier. For example, Ganga, Ganga's sources is in Gangotri Glacier. Come to the next landform that is Plateau. So what is Plateau? A Plateau is an elevated comparatively level expanse of land. Means it looks like this, look like a table land. So, plateaus are also known as cabin. Okay. So, plateau can also form when the mountain gets eroded. Okay. Now, types of plateaus. So, plateaus can be four types. Number one, inter-mountain plateau. So, this type of plateau lies in between the mountain ranges. Okay. So, example is Tibet plateau. Number two is Dissected plateau. So when a continuous plateau is dissected by any river or any stream, it is called a dissected plateau. Example is Meseta in Spain. Next come to Piedmont plateau. This plateau is also called border plateau. They are lying at the border of any ocean or any plain. Example is Malwa plateau in India. Next is Volcanic plateau. This type of plateau is formed because of volcanic activity. Okay. Example is Deccan plateau. Now come to the usefulness of plateaus. So plateaus region, plateau region are rich in minerals. And number two is the soil of the lava plateau, that is volcanic plateau actually, is fertile and ideal for farming. Now comes the plains. So plain means familiar to you 
because we all are living in a plane land or plane region. So this plane, planes are broad, nearly level stretches of land that have no great changes in elevation. So you can see your surroundings that there are no changes in the elevation. It is flat all over. Now, types of, for example, sorry, for example, Central plain in United States, Ganga, Brahmaputra, Indus plain in India. Now comes the types of planes. So, there are three types of planes. Number one is structural plane. So, structural planes are formed due to endogenic forces. Okay? That is, means endogenic forces. Number two is erosional plane. This type of plane is formed because of erosion. The erosional agent, we are eroding the land and forming a plane which is called erosional plane. Next is depositional plane. This type of plane are formed because of the deposition of debris brought by the erosional agent. Okay. Apart from this, there are other type of plane also such as river plane, delta plane, coastal plane and base plane. Now come to the usefulness of plane. So, people find a lots of activities related to this plane. What are they? The soil is fertile here. That means, growing of crop is very easy here. They are of important farmland. So, as soil is fertile, so they are important farmland. Plains are places for settlement with sprawling towns and cities, farming and industrial activities. The communication is smooth here as construction of roads and railways is relatively easier here. So, these are the usefulness of plane and for this reason, planes are the important region for human settlement. You can see that most of the human settlement are in that plane region. Now comes the valleys. So what the valleys? A valley is a low lying land between the uplands, hills or mountains. Just like this you see. Mountains, there is a low lying land which is valley. Valley may be formed endogenically or extreme. So valleys are of three types. Number one is alluvial valley. Alluvial valley are V-shaped valley and they are formed by river. Next is glacial valley. Glacial valley are U-shaped valley and they are formed by glacier. Next is dipped valley. So dipped valley are formed due to the fault or trap in the earth surface. Due to this trap, some portion of land sits down. This downward portion is called deep valley. Now the usefulness of valleys. So valleys have utility too. In high mountain they form gaps or passes which allow rail routes or roadways to pass through them. So apart from this four major landform, there are other minor landform also. They are peninsula. What is peninsula? If you see the map of India, if you see the southern part of India, it is surrounded by water on three sides and by land on the other side, on the fourth side. So this is called peninsula. Peninsula is a land mass that is surrounded by water on three sides and by land on the fourth side. Example is the Deccan Peninsula in India. Number two is Isthmus. So Isthmus is a narrow stretch of land that is connecting two big land masses and example the Isthmus of Panama which is connecting the North America and South America. Next is Island. Island is the land masses that is surrounded by water on all sides. And for example is Greenland. The group of islands is called now we came to the end of this chapter and here are some questions from this chapter which you can prepare at your home. So number one, 
how are life forms form number 2 name the types of mountains give what example for each number 3 mention two functions of mountains number 4 mention two importance of the tools number 5 how are planes useful number 6 give what example for each of the following Number one, intermolecular plateau. Number two, volcanic plateau. Number three, plain. Number four, island. Number five, cold. This much for this chapter. Thank you. Stay home.